Right, so today is a little bit different. So obviously, as you've seen in previous videos, and if you haven't, go give them a watch. Obviously, we've took the engine out, out of the Octavia. We've got that in the caddy. We've now got it running. So if you want to see that, check out as previous videos. And if you don't already, give us a subscribe. This helps massively we uh, the channel. You know, and gives gives give us a thumbs up as well. You know, I really appreciate it. So anyway, today we're gonna be getting the Corsa VXR seats that I bought a few weeks ago into the caddy. Now they are gonna need a bit of adapting. We're gonna have to make a plate to get them in. Um, so I'm gonna head over to the guys at Caddy Solutions now, and we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> We're here. So let's have a look at how we're going to do these seats. Now, I've got an idea, and I know what lads have got an idea, but I think until we um, we get the caddy ones out and have a look at the widths to see our, our wider plate that we need. But I've spoke to a a guy on Instagram and I will put his, his details in the uh, description um, who sort of advised me what problems he had and how we got them to fit. I know they're a bit of a pain in the ass but you know that's what we're expecting. They're out of the course so they're not going to fit straight into a into a caddy. So yeah let's have a look and see what they're like. So we've got seats out and what we have noticed is the guy who I bought them off I think he did tell me this that he'd already cut these lugs off so these lugs on here so he's already cut the lugs off because he said he were going to fit them to his caddy but he changed his mind so anyway so that's next job i'm going to cut these lugs off craig's just nipped out to get some uh, bar we're going to span we're going to go from here across to be able to fix these seats to the bar to make them easily removable off the Turan bases so we'll uh, we'll get cracking with that so what we're going to do now then is weld these plates onto the Turan bases one there and one there then these are going to get self tapped so we can bolt the runners straight onto these so next job is to weld these in Right, so they're all welded in, as you can see. So what Craig's gonna do now, I've just measured the centers of these holes here, from there to there, and he's marked them there and there. I'm gonna drill them out and then tap them out so we can bolt the seats in. And then once we've got the fronts in, we can then mark the backs. I'm gonna have to re-drill one of these sides to get and the same again, drill it out, tap it out, and that should bolt straight in. What sits that on? Bracket. Oh, that lug. That lug that runs outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to trim that off. Tools in. 
Your hands look soft, Craig. <laughs> Why don't we just buy normal seats? Because that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? So what we're going to do now, after Craig's handiwork, is mark these and drill them out. That one wants, is that one opening up a little bit? Yeah, yeah we'll drill that out. Um, drill that out, same size as that. And then tap it out, jobs are good on. So what we're doing now is transferring all the measurements over onto the passenger side one. So that'll be the same. Then we've just got this hole here to drill out. So it's the same size as that. And we should be all good. So, we thought we'd kill two birds with one stone here. What we're going to do is, while the seats are out, it just made good sense to put the Turan carpets in. And while we're putting the Turan carpets in, we thought it'd make it a good sense as well to put the wiring in for the electric door conversion that will be done at a later date. So we're just getting everything sort of future-proof, ready to go. We are going to be putting a Turan armrest in and the Turan dash in at some point. But again, this is more because once these seats go in, they don't need to come back out again. So they're in on the Turan bases. So as you can see, bolted in there and there and at the back. I like them. I'll tell you what, they are so comfy. So yeah, really happy, really pleased. I think the only criticism I would have, criticism, I can't even talk, I would have from from doing them this way is maybe they are a little bit high. But I do tend to have my other seat quite high in my caddy. Um, so I think I'm just going to live with them, see how they are. So worst case scenario, I just might put them back on the original caddy seat basis. Um, I think it's just because these are these are generally the the VXR seat aren't flat like that. They, they come like that. You can jack them up, but once you start jacking these up, you're too high. Um, I mean, I'm not tallest in the world, but yeah. But no, really pleased. I think they'll look. I think they'll look mega. You know, we're one step closer to getting van finished. Still plenty to do. So yeah, smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. So again, massive thanks to Gaz and Craig for assist. Well, for me assisting them actually because they've done all the work. Um, I've just bolted them in to get them to get them working and to get them in place. Really happy. As you can see, they are a little bit high. They are quite tilted back. One more thing. Obviously, now we've put the um, Turan carpets in. Craig's put the power in for the electric window conversion so they're ready to go so really now this is ready to see what we're going to do on the inside there we go they're in one more job ticked off and again huge thanks to Gaz and Craig from Caddy Solutions you know, for getting these in today. And like I said before, without them being involved in this project, it probably won't be happening. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, it is a weird comment. Yeah, if you've liked the video, let us know. And if you aren't, let us know. Um, and yeah, hit that subscribe button because, you know, it helps massively with YouTube and getting our videos out in front of everybody who, uh, who watches them or likes this kind of content so again thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye bye